All right. Um, I quickly want to take us through how to solve problem using this code on MATLAB file exchange, share force bending moments. So it has um, 7,300 downloads. And um, uh, I got a request from someone recently. Uh, Hi, could, could you show me how to use this code? And I promised to make a video and then post on online. So that's what I'm about to do now. Uh, first of all, you would need to download this code here. And then when you download, you get a zip file. And um, when you get a zip file, you get all this uh, code. I mean, this in it. So I already have it downloaded. So my, I have it in my MATLAB, uh, my MATLAB folder already. So, but to be able to use this code, we have to go through the readme text uh, file. So this here explain how to send them the arguments to the function SFBM. So the first two arguments must be in this order. The first one must be a string, which is the name of the problem. It's gonna be exercise seven, problem five, for example, two, that has to be a string. Then the second argument is a vector of length three. The first element in it is the length of the beam you're analyzing. Uh, the second element is the position of the first support, uh, Why the second, the third um, element is the position of the second support. All right. So um, this is a simply supported beam, which means we have no business with the flexural rigidity of the beam or the type of material that it's made of. All right. So the rest of the arguments can come in no particular order and then there is no limit to the number so this here represents the load that is on the beam we have three types of loads it can be concentrated load which is the uh, or point load which is the cf it can be moments which is represented with m or df which is distributed load so here in this cell we have that it is a concentrated load acting with a magnitude of two downward because of the negative and then acting at point zero. For the moment, it's magnitude of 10 and it is counterclockwise because it's positive, negative is clockwise and acting at point eight. Then we have the DF, which is the distributed force. So here uh, we, you can have five, which is just a, uh, one value that is its uniform load acting from interval of uh, one to three, or you can have a uniformly or sorry, a linearly increasing uh, distributed force. For example, having a five uh, to eight on one to three. I mean, at one, the value is five, at eight, at three, the value is eight but it's uh, linearly increasing between eight and five. I mean, you can also make it quadratic. If you wish, you can just uh, add another load, another value here, maybe six, and then you can uh, add five here. So because you have three points now defined on the profile of the load, of the distributed load, then that algorithm will create a quadratic uh, function for that, okay? So, uh, the rest that you have here is just a repeat of the kind of things that we already have. So I'm going to copy this guy here and take it to the command window and then make modification to solve any problem that I want to solve. So now uh, we are going to be picking problems from this book. So we'll go to chapter seven on internal uh, forces and then we'll look at beams. So we're going to pick our first example from here. We look at this example at seven point two. So let me uh, reduce the size of this uh, so that um, I can place it in a way that I can see the problem while entering the information in MATLAB, all right? So let me put this down and then uh, also uh, MATLAB this way uh, up here, all right. So we can do this. All right, so this is example 7.2. So I'm going to have this 7.2. The length is 7.5, 7.5. The first support is located at 
The second support is at 5.5. It's at 7.5, which is the end. So we have a first concentrated force at, um, which is 20, negative 20 per second downward at zero. So minus 20 at zero. Then we have another concentrated force uh, of minus 40 acting at 0.5.5. At no distributed force. Uh, so I'm deleting this part of it. All right, no moment. And then just click enter. So you have this as the solution. Um, this is the free body diagram. And then this is the shear force. And then this is the bending moment diagram. So we can just go to uh, the book and see what, uh, what the result is from the book. So we can, let me just take this guy away. And then uh, let's look at the book. So um, here, uh, we have uh, we have the solution here. It says there is um, a reaction for the six at this point, so we are for the six here, and then fourteen at this point. All right. So after that, then we have um, uh, the shear force and the bending moment diagram. So I can bring that here. And then we can compare with what we have here. So you can see here it's 26 kilonewtons, so this 26. And then uh, here you have minus 20. Here, this is minus 20. And here is 14. And then here you are 14. All right. So, and um, that is that. So that is the shear force. Then the bending moment you have uh, here, it goes down to minus 50 and then up to 28 here, and then like that. So that is uh, the really simple one. So although uh, you don't have the equation listed here, but uh, we have the equation for those three regions from zero to 2.5 minus 20 minus 20 X from 2.5 to 5.5, 26, 26 X, 115 minus 115, I mean like that too. It's, I mean, this is approximate because of the way the integration is performed. All right. So uh, we can look at, we can pick another problem. This is another problem, right? So this problem uh, has an offset. So this force is not acting directly on the beam. So we have to move it to act directly on the beam. We move it by this much from uh this point e to this point d and that means we're going to add a moment all right it's a compliment so let us now i mean enter that into the algorithm all right so this is 7.3 so what is the length the total length is uh, 32 So we, are, we have uh, one support at zero, the one at the end, the other one at the end. It's all right. So we have a concentrated force of minus uh, 400, and then acting at this point D that we're bringing it to. So minus 400 at point 18. Then we have, uh, then we're gonna have a moment. All right, because we move the force from its original line of action. So by four, so that is 1,600. So uh, it is negative because that moment is clockwise, all right? Acting at point 18, then we'll have a distributed force. This real force of minus 40, then acting from zero to what? From zero to 12. And that's it. So we enter and we'll get results. So this is what you get. Uh, where's the shear force? All right. 
and that's it. So uh, here we have this reaction here, 365, another reaction on 515. So we can check, uh, let me remove this guy and then we maximize this. Uh, we bring this back. Uh, so here we can see uh, this 515 as the reaction here. I mean, 365 and then 515 as A. And then um, we can then look at the shear force and then the bend the moment diagram. All right, so this is at negative 365, negative 365. Uh, up here is 35 pound, 35. And then the top here is 515. So then you have this profile here, here, which is 3,300, that's what you have here. And there's 3,510 in between. So here you can see that here, which corresponds to this point. And then you have 5,110 here. And then it goes down to the point 32. I mean, that is, um, that's it. That's how to use it. Uh, we can look at another example. Um, you can pick any of these, or I saw one interesting problem. Uh, relation to shear moment. Okay, yeah, this is where you now solve, and then where you have the equations also stated. We can look at this problem which is interesting, that is 7.4. So let us minimize this guy again, and then come here. So this is from 7.4. What is the total length? We have six, eight, 10, eight. So that is 32 also. So we have a support at zero and the other one at 24. So you have a concentrated load acting at six, uh, minus 20 at six. And then there's another concentrated load acting at 14. See here, that is minus 12 at 14. And then you have a distributed load of minus 1.5 then acting from 24 to 32. And that's all. So that's it. So let's see what the result it got is. Uh, here we have uh, the reaction at A is 18. That is all got here 18 also. And then at D, the reaction is 26. So let's see what we have here, uh, 26, that's correct. Okay, so then let's see uh, the shear force and the, the bending moment diagram. So um, let me bring this up. Okay, here, so you have a, okay, oh, let me leave it here. So you have um, 18 here, and then minus 16, so, I mean, sorry, 18 here, that's when it's minus two, so minus two, down to minus 14, and then up to 12, I mean, that's correct. So then here you have this profile, this is uh, zero to 108, then down to 92, down to minus 48, and then a curve down to zero. So that's it. Uh, let me see if we can have another interesting problem. I mean, this is, not interesting. Let's see. Okay, look at this problem. Um, that is interesting. So we have distributed load that goes from here. We have this point. This is uh, two here, two here, to a uh, five here. But uh, we should not enter this as one continuous load because if we do that, the algorithm will handle it as if it's a quadratic problem, as if the distribution is quadratic. So in that, in this case, we have to split it into two, enter this as one DF, and this one is another DF. All right. Uh, let's see how to do that. I think that this will be the last problem that we'll solve here. Um, so let me leave it this way. Um, all right, so let's do this. I don't know. 
what what kind of what's not true this is study 7.1 so i can call this study study 7.1 so the length is 10. so i have one support at four another one at 10. then i have no concentrated load just distributed forces so i'm going to have the first one uh, which is minus 2.4, 2.4 going from zero to four, all right? Then I'm gonna have another one. Which is uh, from 2.4 to my six right so that goes from four to ten okay uh that's all okay so uh we have this okay let me see let me take this away uh the result is here we have one is 3.6 kilo detain, 23.6 kilo detain. And here 11.2, 11 11.2, that's correct. And then let's see the profile of, let's see the profile. Um, the profile we have uh, for the first region, we have, uh, Minus 2.4. I was the. I can't see that here, but I can see the second one, which is here 0.3x squared plus 18. And then for the bending moment, uh, the second equation, I can see that here. Um, then 18.8 minus 88. But I can't see the first one. Anyway, maybe it is the only the second region that they found the equation for in this particular problem. That is why you don't see the one for the first. Uh, and let me see if they draw the profile so that we can compare. Okay, all right, they did the profile. So that is the same thing here. Uh, this is a minus 9.6 and then 14 kilometers and down to minus 11.2. That's fine. And then for this part, we have zero to minus 19.2 and then to top point here, this is 11.2. And that is that for the, I mean, for how to use. Thank you for listening.